been a shocking uh, story uh, from the uh, Mazulu royal house. The royal family is going to be meeting soon to discuss funeral arrangements for the Amazulu regent. Queen Mantbombi Dlamini Zulu passed away last night, just weeks after the passing of her husband, King Goodwill Zuelitini Kabeke Zulu. But the royal family says the latest loss will not cause a leadership vacuum. Our reporter Tubi Vilani is tracking the story. He joins us now from Kwanangoma. I mean, Tuba, this is just utterly shocking, um, and the family must be quite devastated. Uh, a difficult time for the royal family, but also for the Amazulu nation. Um, what are people saying about the late queen? How is she being remembered? It's not only difficult for Amazulu nation, Sally. This is, has shocked many nations. As you understand, the queen is from the Eswatini kingdom, and she's the sister to the current king, King Swati, of the Eswatini kingdom. So since we arrived here at uh, Gwakangela Mankengane in Wanongoma, uh, we've been getting reactions uh, from several people and different people that have been arriving here at the palace to pay their respect. Though today it was a quiet day, as we understand that uh, the family is yet to meet and finalize the funeral arrangements, we understand and we're told that uh, there's a delegation that from the family that went to Johannesburg um, where the king, uh, the, the queen uh, took her last breath. And we also understand that um, there is a delegation that is supposed to go to Eswatini where the, the queen uh, was born. So today it was a quiet day. We spoke to one of uh, a very senior pe pe person here at the Royal House, a person that worked very closely with the late king. And she told us how the queen worked um, to unite the two nations, the Teswatini and the Zulu nation, and how she assisted the king in reviving some of the traditional ceremonies such as Umkoswo, Umtlanga, and Umkoswo Sivivan. But let's take a listen to the king's praise singer. <laughs> Mopelbega <laughs> but what are people saying about uh, the passing of the queen so soon after the king i mean it's it's just left everyone reeling i'm sure but also concerns about who's going to take over now That's a big question, Sally. Uh, though for now, as you will understand, that this has just happened um, last night. So that's uh, the, 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 the family. They have not yet even met. But surely they should. The, the question that they should be discussed, as it was discussed when the king passed on. So surely even now, that's mm -hmm. the biggest question that everyone will be asking. We've heard from different people, as I said earlier on. We've heard messages from the president we've had from the premier of the province premier Sisles Galala and he even said they have scaled down on some of the provincial governmental activities that they have planned for the upcoming weeks until um, the queen is being planted so Many people are saying they've lost a person that um, they were still expecting a lot from her. But among other people that arrived here at Wakangela is the chairperson of the provincial house of traditional leadership in Guazulu Natal, in Gosi Patisiz Ekliza. Let's take a listen to what he said. This is a, a difficult time to them. Uh, they can't even uh, speak uh, because we, we were here uh, with Abantwana and everyone here is shocked 
Yes, we do understand that uh, the Queen was not well for a long time. I think it's four years. Uh, but no one was expecting what happened. So we, that's why we are saying, uh, let's pray God. God is the answer. God is the only one who can uh, 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 protect the, the, the royal family. And uh, Tuba Vilani in Kwanangoma, thank you so much for bringing us that update. What a difficult time for the royal house.